Okay guys, in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to measure, cut, and install the tubes. After installing all the components, blocks, and reservoirs, this is a no-brainer too. But there are some rules to follow. This is a tube, and you're going to need some scissors. When cutting the tube, make sure you cut it straight. What you should definitely not do is this, or this, or God, what did the tube ever did to you, man? Not like that! Just make the straight cut. That's it, nice and easy. Pro tip, when installing the tube to the fitting, it takes a certain force, which isn't a problem when the water block is outside the case. But if you're doing it inside the case, which is the idea, it can be hard due to crowded space. However, one glass of hot water is a game changer. Put the tube and keep it in a hot water for a few seconds, and the installation should go way easier. By the way, in order to work, you don't need to necessarily warm it up, but with the hot water, the tube will stick to the fittings easier. Now, all that's left is to secure the locking ring. Make sure it's tightened up to the end of the fitting barb thread. When you work inside the small cases, it's better to take out the pump combo unit so that you can easily install some tubes. Go for the tube and install it to the fitting that is the most inaccessible to work with first and then feel free to use the longer tube since we will easily trim it later. In this tutorial, we're going to show you how to install the tubes on all of the water blocks, including the GPU block, if you purchase it later. We mentioned this since there is no GPU block in the EK kit. Therefore, we opted for the harder solution so you understand all the important tidbits. When measuring the tube length between the two components, it's better to leave the longer tube on. Heads up, the tubes must never be sharply bent like this, so be sure to place and bend them adequately and smoothly by following the tube curvature and then decide where will you make the cut. Always put the locking ring first and then install the tube to the fitting. Now that you know all the rules and tips, you need to make a custom loop with the tubes and to connect all the components in between. In our case, it goes from the pump combo kit output into the GPU water block. Always pay attention on whether a water block has the in-out ports or not. If it's not marked, it doesn't matter which opening you pick. For example, GPU block doesn't have an in-out port. Next, our water flow will go from the GPU water block into the radiator from the radiator to the CPU block input, from the CPU block output to the radiator, and from the radiator to the pump combo unit input. So basically, it's always from input to output, from input to output in the circle. With EK kits, inside the loop, we don't have a GPU block and 120 millimeter radiator. So your loop should look like this, from pump combo unit output to CPU block input. From CPU block output to the radiator, that also doesn't have the in-out ports, so it doesn't matter which opening do you pick, and from the radiator to pump combo unit input. So once again, from input to output, from input to output in a circle. Always check if you can close the case panel without damaging the tubes. Of course, you don't want this to happen. In smaller cases, this can cause a problem since you don't receive the angled fittings in the EK kit, but if you purchase them, all your problems will be solved. Besides, doesn't this look really good? Of course, if you have the large case, then you probably shouldn't have any problems. So, you know what they say, think twice before you cut. The tubes, that is.